I seem to have decided to do a little series covering all our closest galactic neighbours. So, after Lumen 16, we find the excitingly named WISE 0855-0714, our fourth closest neighbour. Let's find out more. Lying seven and a quarter light years from Earth, we find the strange body, WISE 0855-0714, which I'm from now on going to be calling 08 just for brevity's sake. From the Earth, it lies in the constellation of Hydra, but you won't see it, even with a powerful telescope. This is a sub-brown dwarf, a body with mass less than that needed for deuterium fusion that occurs in a true brown dwarf star. 08 has a mass of six times the mass of Jupiter, and a radius similar to, if a little smaller than that planet. A brown dwarf requires a mass of 13 Jupiters to undergo deuterium fusion, and since 08 doesn't have the required mass, it won't undergo that process which would produce heat and light. This means that 08 isn't considered to be a brown dwarf, but instead is classed as a planetary mass object or sub-brown dwarf. This however doesn't mean that 08 is a cold, cold world. It would have a temperature between 245 and 260 Kelvin, or about minus 40 degrees Celsius. This does make it the coldest known sub-brown dwarf object yet discovered, but the temperature of deep space is only 2.7 Kelvin, or minus 270 degrees Celsius. So compared to that, 08 is positively balmy. But now here comes the interesting question. Where did 08 come from? There are two possibilities. 08 could be a sub-brown dwarf, or it could be a rogue planet. Sub-brown dwarfs form just like stars from clouds of interstellar gas and dust collapsing under their own gravity. As the clouds of material collapse, they form relatively quickly. Planets form in a slightly different way. Tiny particles clump together under their own gravity, and these gradually attract more and more materials towards them, and they steadily grow. Eventually, these larger bodies, called planetesimals, join together to form planets. Further away from the star, where the temperatures are cold, ice forms and clumps together to form little ice balls. Also, due to the cold temperatures, the gas particles in that region of space are moving more slowly, and they get drawn in towards the icy planetesimals. These gases then form huge atmospheres surrounding the gas giant planets, such as Jupiter and Saturn, in our own solar system. In the case of a rogue planet, that formation would take place initially orbiting a different star, just like the planets have done in our own solar system, but at some point in time, that planet would then be ejected from its normal orbit to wander the universe forever or until it gets captured by the gravitational pull of another star. Planets being ejected from their initial solar system of formation isn't such a strange idea. Gravitational interactions between the planets can cause this, and it's thought that maybe a giant planet in our own solar system was ejected shortly after the formation of our solar system by gravitational forces of the planet Jupiter. Although it's very unlikely that 08 is this planet, Current estimates put the rogue body as possibly twice as old as our entire solar system, and in any case, it's much more massive than Jupiter. 08 is a strange place, that because of its dimness we know comparatively little about, but it has its place in our local galactic neighbourhood as the fourth closest body to our solar system. For now though, it's time to come back home. Next time, we'll be travelling to a star known for a future fictional battle that will take place there, maybe, possibly. Wolf 359. But until then, thank you for watching. If we now venture into the water, we probably won't find any life. This doesn't mean that the waters of Earth are dull, uninteresting places. Things are happening in this chemical soup that makes up these waters. Events that will eventually lead to the development of life.